Hey, let's do a quick Cinemachine tutorial based on a question that I received from somebody and I think it was the Playmaker Discord. So the first thing I'm gonna do is in the Package Manager, a uh, Window Package Manager, we are going to search for Cinemachine. <clears throat> and Cinemachine's also part of like a, a cinema package. I don't know if it's in 2021, maybe it's only, in they only bundle it differently, but you can get like a whole package of different um like timeline and cinema machine like if you're gonna be doing a bunch of video edits and stuff you can install them all at once but for this we're just gonna install cinema machine all right so that takes a couple minutes um i paused while it was installing so cinema machine is now installed um one thing my scene doesn't have is a main camera so let me go ahead and add a camera all right because you have to have one real camera in the scene so um there it is there and i'm gonna go ahead and turn gizmos on make it a little bit easier to see but it's not actually showing the camera gizmo oh because it's tiny let me just go ahead and come in here if i turn off 3d icons no no let's keep 3d icons let's just make them let's just make them big all right so there's my main camera you can see down here in the bottom right where it's pointing and now let's right click and go to cinema machine and let's create a virtual camera all right and so we are now seeing what the virtual camera sees here so let me um scroll wheel to zoom up let's do uh let's put find a new place for a camera and i'm just using wasd keys it's like what if we place this here so with that one selected i'm gonna go ask and i'm gonna go game object align with view and there you go and let's do um let's do another camera scroll wheel so i'm holding the right mouse button wasd to move around and let's just do something like I don't know let's we're gonna put a camera here so i'm going to go cinema machine virtual camera and i'll just be camera two and don't forget we're, this is what camera one's looking at um so camera two i'm gonna go game object align with view um yeah and we're seeing that one great okay so that's probably enough cameras to kind of get the idea of what's going on here so now if we come back here to our main camera we have our cinema machine brain and by default it's going to automatically blend between the cameras so really i don't think i need to do anything else except set up some logic um on which camera should be active so um actually i should have like one more so really i want to make a where our main camera starts at um actually it's already moved to this this third camera uh or let's create one more uh cinema machine camera because i want to have three and let's just, uh, is this already been moved? Yeah, it got moved by, uh, let's just put this back at, I don't know, let's at world spawn. And then let's, let's move this up, something like that. All right, so there we have three cameras. Um, all right, so I'm going to, I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate these two. All right, and let's see if it just works. I haven't tested this in a while, but it should just work if I hit play. All right, moment of truth. So VCAM 1 is currently on and we're seeing it here. So what happens if I go to VCAM 2 and activate it? <laughs> Pretty smooth, right? And if I go to VCAM 3 and just activate it, Cinemachine does all the work for you. So that's just the super basics and how you can use Cinemachine to give you some really cool camera angles and transition to them really nicely. So whether you're using Playmaker visual scripting, um, C Sharp, or God forbid, um, Bolt visual scripting, um, it's just a simple of just activating the virtual camera you want to be active. And then the Cinemachine brain that's on your main camera takes care of all the work for you. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check you next time.